Hey everybody, welcome to another basic Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters for this March 25th, 2015. Not an important date at all, but uh, mostly I want to talk today about this big event that happened yesterday at uh, Point Park University. It was hashtag Berg via the uh, School of Communications, uh, keynoted by Sri Srivasan. I got that name right. Uh, of the, uh, he's a chief digital officer for the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Uh, it was a very uh, tremendous event, uh, which was live cast, by the way. Uh, looks like via uh, YouTube Live. I'm, I'm presuming it's cached right there on Point Park's uh, website, and uh, I'll try to attach a link to this uh, in the notes for this episode. Uh, but also uh, beyond that, uh, also a, a, a great panel with Charlie Batch, uh, Jessica from the Andy Warhol Mus Museum, uh, Josh Rollerson from uh, uh, 90.5 Weeso, the local public access, Brandy Smith from Smith Brothers Agency, uh, Cassandra from uh, Black and Gold Girls, I know my sister follows them, Rob Rossi of the uh, Pittsburgh Tribune Review, and uh, Amy of the uh, Pittsburgh Ballet Theater rounded out that line and uh like i said a very tremendous event shriek was awesome uh it, it, this was the, one of the the greatest uh talks i've heard on social media in, in a good long time and we actually had laura kelly uh of innovation works join us who uh, was uh, was attending as well uh, uh join us on the awesome cast you can go over awesomecast.net and, and find that episode with her um 242 i think is the episode number but uh, she made a very good point that, like, most of the time, uh, a lot of these talks are 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 for, you know, kind of like, OK, it's nice if I'm starting from scratch, but that's not where I'm at. And it seems like a lot of what Sri said really kind of uh, resonated with the people in the room that had been doing it, like myself, like like her, like, you know, people that are, are, are in this industry or trying to find their spot in this industry, I guess, um, if you can call it that, uh, in social media and figuring out how to use these tools. You know, I've talked about uh, in recent weeks, of course, uh, on this show about my thoughts on social media, how this is an all access and everybody has an opportunity and, and, and everything and all, you know, all the stuff that, that we can do with all the stuff at, at our fingertips. Um, and it really kind of extends on that. And he talks about really a lot of why, how can you be better at social media? And, and it was a really nice, tight package uh, in the long run. Uh, and, and I thought it was really cool. Um, uh, running down my notes, my notes, by the way, are my tweets, because it was important enough for me to note. And I still want to go through. He, oh, oh, tech note. And I talk about this on Awesome Cast as well. Ran the entire thing from his phone. He had like the three C's, which included always be charging. He pimped the, uh, the Mophie juice pack for instance, and uh, he had everybody raise their hand, and I was, I was only a few minutes away from my phone being at 20% and pulling out my little cheap Duracell battery to plug myself in so I can last to the, for the train ride home. Uh, but uh, it was a <laughs> tremendous, tremendous event. Uh, like I said, a lot, a lot of good conversation there, and there's a little bit. Uh, and also, uh, I don't know, last time I, I saw somebody encourage, don't look at me, tweet about this. Take a picture of this. Everybody take a picture and, and practice now because all of you have this stuff. Everybody has a smartphone, and that's very true. Um, guys, my mom made a Squarespace website. You can start taking pictures and tweeting it about the thing you're passionate about, first of all. Uh, it, it, it's kind of an aside from that. Always be charging. Always be connecting. Um, one of the big takeaways, and I, I, I see this a lot, not just him, Gary Vaynerchuk, you, you need to be talking to other people. There was a very good emphasis. This was LinkedIn uh, mostly, but I think this applies across the board. Always be making those connections and making those friends, not for what you need today, but for what you need tomorrow and be genuine with it. Um, and, and I think that's very important. I think that's why anytime I look at LinkedIn, and, and for me, it's just been uh, uh, my my issue with LinkedIn, not my issues, my, my contention, my, my attempts at LinkedIn have really been kind of looking at it and uh, saying, okay, I know I need to be here. I know I need to start pushing stuff to this and doing stuff like, like pushing this video at least to it because I think this fits into the mindset of what I'm doing professionally most of the time. Uh, so I, I make sure specifically that gets connected um, and, and everything else. And, and I don't really blog too much, but I'm probably going to throw like some of my newsletter content in there as well to maybe try to drive people into that. Um, like we talked about newsletters yesterday on this show, for instance. Um, but uh, it's all kind of part of that wide strategy, right? 
And uh, also, since he was running off his phone, his iPhone connected to a VGA adapter, we also saw his tweets pop up a lot, or at least like when people favorited and retweeted a lot. Got myself on there when I liked his Instagram. Um, this is one quote that kind of stuck out to me. The scarcest resource of the 21st century is human attention. And there was also a little bit of discussion from the QA section about, well, isn't this kind of taking up more people's attention? It's like, yes, but, you know, you're still, you're still... This is, this is still where the people are and the people that will be engaging with what you're passionate about. You need to find those people that like the thing that you like. This is where the like-minded people can find each other that would never have the opportunity otherwise. Uh, Rob Rossi reflected that as well, saying, you know, I, hey, I'm reading stuff and connecting with people I never would have had a chance of. As much as he sounded pretty negative on social media, I mean, there was a general thought at one point, and again, we talked about this on the awesome cast briefly, about like the writers and the journalists and the and the uh, radio people up on the panel saying, my job would be a lot easier if this thing wasn't around. Um, also, interesting note, uh, we put, I think, their CEO from the Met he mentioned on Instagram, well, why not Twitter? Much less drama. And, and it's very focused, too. It's a, it's a better community. It's more visual. Uh, it, it makes sense. Um, this is the other thing that points out here. And this is one thing I battle with. Sometimes I'm doing social media and I'm setting up all these feeds for the week. Then I look at it and, and I'm like, especially looking at the numbers, which we also contend is a bad way to look at things is the matrix, the matrix, the metrics. Um, and here's the dirty secret he says about social media. Almost everyone will miss almost everything you do on social media until you make a mistake. The columnists know that as spell checkers, for instance. Um, I've known that. I know when there's technical mistakes and everything, I get called out myself. I'm, I'm trying to say trying to become a public face, I guess. Um, or, uh, you know, I don't know. I just like doing this stuff. And that's what it turns into, I guess. Um, and uh, there was a one point where he said, uh, if you want to make a video and uh, make sure you're doing it absolutely in secret that nobody will find it, just post it to YouTube. You got a lot of competition out there. You got a lot of competition out there. But if you find them, people find you it's a, still a great tool i think uh this is also interesting uh, um the celebrities are taking the paparazzi out of the equation he shows uh, jerry seinfeld at the met in, in on instagram very true i mean you can connect with them uh charlie batch rob rossi really like the back and forth they have again we talked about this on awesome cast um about people in their position as athletes as people um, you know, writing the news and, and, and everything, reporting on the news. Why would you listen to certain comments, you know? Uh, and, and then even like, well, you know, one, one, one person said, uh, I used to have to buy the good seats to be able to yell at the player. Now you just have to be on Twitter. Uh, it's really kind of moved that. Uh, he has some rules on engagement I thought were very interesting. Again, look for my, uh, at Sokoshan on the Twitter. If you go through there, look up my hashtag BergPPU for Berg and, uh, and, uh, uh, Point Park University. Um, this is a, uh, their competition is not other museums. It's Netflix, Candy Crush, Life in 2015. That's what I'm competing with a lot here, and I'm so thankful for the audience that does. Uh, you know, when I hear it filter through that even friends of uh, friends are are potentially listening to this show every morning, uh, it, pleases, it pleases me so. When I go someplace, oh yeah, I've been listening to your show. I'm like somebody listens to this, and I know I look at numbers, and and sometimes I'll see like oh 30 people are watching this week or something like that, or uh, on whichever service I'm looking at, right? Uh, that doesn't feel like real people until somebody comes up to you and says, hey, I like that thing you're doing on the internet. I, I think that's very important. Um, some other things, real interesting, uh, touched on this briefly, uh, uh, Smith Brothers was talking about there's a function in Facebook that connects via your uh, uh, email address to your giant eagle card and they know if you saw that ad for i don't know let's say bait, you know, detergent and you bought the detergent at giant eagle they know now you knew it was coming at this thing you know no it was coming at this thing for real uh so um let's see any other real quick notes um and this is something i noticed because this is a question that pops up on i know gary vaynerchuk's show and any other social media talk where there's a qa um everybody is looking for the answer the key. Like, what is going to make my thing do this? And, and and there's always one person that asked bluntly almost, no, 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 no. you've told me all this stuff in the last hour and a half, but, but no, what is the analytics that matter so I can find out if I don't suck at this? It's a 
for me to paraphrase. And almost consistently, the answer is, well, I, I wrote on Twitter, not very concrete. It depends on what you're doing. There's a real, uh, I really enjoyed the way they said it's not the numbers. He pulled the numbers, which are like, oh, million some people on Facebook. When I'm like, I wish I had a million some people on Facebook, even with all the craziness that Facebook is doing. I think that would be fairly significant. Um, but uh, but still, it's not that. Well, if you got a million people, but they're just sitting there and you're not engaging with them and they're not engaging back. That's where I look at something like with what we're doing with the Wrestling Mayhem show. And I look at that Facebook group that we're looking at. If you have a chance, please, if you're interested in this kind of stuff and, and what I believe is good engagement. And, and there's a point where it's like, are we really just talking to our friends? Um, but I think it's also very important that when I look at something like that property that we've done there. Um, yes, we're talking to our friends. Because our listeners have become our friends in most of the cases. Um, and I get excited, especially when I start seeing people being part of that conversation with my friends, who all were listeners first and all span California, Texas, Poughkeepsie. And these are the people I hang out with online, just as if we were going to the bar. It's much cheaper this way. Um, they're mixing up with these new people, discovering the show, and those people are passionate about it and passionate about the subject and passionate about the way that we present the subject or passionate against how we present the subject. And we get a nice back and forth between certain members of the show and them. Um, and, and no matter how much I look at the numbers as I'm trying to figure out, can I get advertisers for this to help support the podcast habit uh, and, and to have a different kind of revenue coming into what we're doing around here to support things. Um, and I look at that. I need to make sure that is part of the equation. And it's the it's the indistinguishable number, you know? Uh, you, you really it, that's why you see engagement. And everything that was one constant I did see when you're looking at stats, look at that engagement. And I think when you say, well, three people like this tweet, um, I think you need to multiply that for yeah, those are the people engaged. It's just like email. I, I always said, okay, if three people email our show, that means there's like 50 watching. Your own your equation is your own, and it's probably more than that. Or at least there's 50 people paying attention. I pay attention to a lot of shows, and I have an opinion hard on a lot of shows that I listen to, but I do not get a chance to email. I do not engage with them as much as I should. And I consider myself a hardcore fan of a lot of them. Um, and I think even when my show, your show, your project, um, I think that's the other way you have to look at it too. Um, I do not get a lot of responses at Seclair's Facebook page, but they had over capacity for their last event they did, 30 some people, and with the majority of saying, I found this on the website, even though I got two people that said they RSVP'd via Facebook, Google+, however we're doing it. When people walk in the door and say, yeah, I read your thing, you know, people are getting to know our practitioners via the website before they come in. Just because the videos aren't doing gangbusters 100,000 views just like some kid playing Minecraft doesn't mean it's not important. And that's the thing I got to keep telling myself to make me realize I'm actually I'm doing kind of a good job there um, and not compare myself metrics wise, numbers wise with some of these other people. It's a different ball game. We're all in, um, we're, all, we're all playing on the same field, but we're all playing with a different shaped ball when we're making our pages for whatever we're making them for on Facebook. And I think that was really driven home for me, um, maybe under the veil a little bit yesterday. Uh, Berg PPU, hashtag Berg PPU. Uh, go, go follow the hashtag Lot Great Conversation on Twitter in general, pictures, videos. Um, follow uh, all those people on there. I think they link, let me see what they link over here on the, they go websites, um, but in most places, most pieces, places, geez, um, you can find their Twitter from there. They're a good social media company. <laughs> so uh, I, I, all that stuff. And, and please go go check that out. Um, and, and if you watch that, he's, he's got a short link for all the slides. Definitely go through that slide deck. And, and there's some great, great details in there for you. Is Mike Sorg going along again for the basic Sorgonomics? And uh, uh, of course, go to Sorgatron.com. Please sign up for my newsletter. And, and I want to try to um, uh, talk a lot more about this kind of stuff on there. I'll let you 
you know my favorite shows that we've done through the week because we're doing over uh i haven't done the numbers recently but we're definitely doing over six hours of content uh a week it's, it gets a little sketchy because i'm doing these short ones now but there's like uh gee if i add up the numbers there's 12 16 um uh, we do something like 20 videos a week uh, of various uh, uh, sizes. So go check out any of that stuff. And if you follow me at Sorgatron, as um, nine of you are currently, you can check me out doing this live on Meerkat somewhere between 8 and 9 o'clock. Okay, let's find that. 8 and 10 o'clock, depending on what's going on in the morning. And we try to get the videos up as soon as we can afterwards. So until next time, uh, this has been Basics Organomics. And I promise I'll get shorter in show length. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.